Hey everyone, welcome back to more XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. I am Disturbing Puppet. We'll be continuing our campaign from where we've left off. Making some good progress getting towards the end. Um, we are probably about... Oh, I don't know, a week away in game time from finishing this up, I think. Um, the plan is, we are currently doing the Avatar Autopsy. What I want to do is have the month roll over, which will take a little bit longer than that. Um, we've got a new order I want to test out. Um, which will improve the effectiveness of all of our weapon upgrades, even if that's kind of minor improvements, um, making a stock do more damage, increasing your chance to hit, all that is really, really good. Um, so I want to have that in effect before we get into the final endgame. Um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully not too much other stuff's going to come up to cause us to be delayed in doing that. We did the Guerrilla Ops for the month. Um, got six days to the end of the month, four days to the autopsy. Um, we did have a bunch of council missions recently that popped up, so, I mean, that could always happen again. Um, there's possibly even... Uh, well, we had um, we had a Resistance Haven attack not too long ago, so I don't think we're going to have another one soon. Uh, we are working on another weapon. We are training Dean Venture now as our second Psyker. Uh, working on getting some more um, points for XCOM so we can, before the end, do a whole bunch of training in the training center, grab a bunch of extra skills for the people we're going to send in. Right now we're in a good shape with our soldiers, although just be careful about people getting tired, especially as we get into the end. That's going to make kind of juggling this at the end a little difficult, I think. Uh, Ellen, we took out on the last mission. She's out for seven days. She's trying to get her promoted, but didn't quite make it. Not sure if she'll get promoted before the end or not. Probably not going to make it into our final group. Um, probably the characters that I have in the um, various different ruler armor and equipped with the chosen weapons, they'll be my priorities. I don't remember what I was doing on the map. I might have just been doing a little side thing just because. Um, oh, that's interesting. So we could get another Gorilla Op. Okay. So something I thought would actually be cool is if you could do back-to-back -back Gorilla Ops and just to counter the negative effect, not necessarily to get the bonus. So eight days, get a Gorilla Op. That's past the end of the month, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there with that Gorilla Op. That's an interesting thing. I don't recall having that pop up before. I started working on the supplies, I think. That's probably what I was doing. Um, I hate to do another Gorilla Op. <laughs> Even if I have the option, I don't know that I want to jump in and do another one. Oh, I should also mention I've had some weird issues with uh, recording. There was a Windows update that screwed up all of my settings for my microphone, so I'm hoping everything's fine and everything is uh, audible, understandable, all that kind of stuff. It's very tempting to do that. What is going on with the dark events? Yellow facility construction is imminent. We destroyed one not too long ago. Next retaliation, five weeks. We're good there. Um, neither one of these is that big of a deal, honestly. I suppose I could always opt out of it um, when it comes up. It's really tempting to do that, though. Oh, I hate these choices. I don't need the supplies. I don't need reduced uh, like contact costs because I have contact everywhere in the world. So yeah, maybe we'll just work on that. Now, how investigating a gang fight is going to uh, let me do another guerrilla op, but okay. I could be building radio towers to get more of the continent bonuses, but none of them are really that great that are left. Facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay, we could hit the facility. We've got access. As soon as they finish it, I can go blow it up. Um, it's not that many enemies, actually. There's no... Yeah, there is a sectopod there, so that's why. I suppose I should. As soon as they build them, let's just destroy them. Just get them out of the way. Um, I hate that it's going to delay things again, but uh, what are you going to do? Setting course for Indonesia. You want to build a facility, I will destroy a facility. That's just the way it goes. Um, since I'm not sure my heavy is going to make it into the final missions, we could just roll out some heavies. Andy can get some action here, probably. Sectopod means we could take out Jane as well. I don't mind necessarily taking out... Some of these people I took out last time, you can kind of see they're actually getting tired. Like, Viking here is getting pretty tired. Um, I want to give some extra time for Rose and them to recover. Definitely could take Lebedev. I think Andy's good to go. Yeah, Andy's totally fine. 
I don't have to worry about being tired with uh, my spark. Lots of explosives. We've got backup heals and revives. We've got AP rounds here. So after this, Viking and Dragonova will be out for a while being tired, for sure. But uh, yeah, we could do that. Lebedev's not looking too bad. I wouldn't mind getting a promotion for him. It's not a huge deal, though. We've got blue screen. We've got anti-robotic stuff here. We've got the plasma blaster. We've got explosives. We've got AP rounds. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this team. That's fine. I'm trying to keep some of my A team fresh for uh, when we get further in. Sky Ranger deployed. I could just leave these black sites because we do have the avatar progress pretty much down to nothing, but um, I kind of feel like if I can see them and they pop up, we might as well just crush them down every time. We've got a few people, at least one, who can still get a promotion. Lebedev can still get promoted, and I think that's it. Local resistance forces tipped us to the location of an alien facility tied to the Avatar project operating out of this area. We're going in to shut it down permanently. Well, so much for making story progress, but four charges at the designated position. And move to a safe distance for detonation. Sorry, if we Bradford. take out that facility, we might just buy ourselves some time. Yeah, so we're not advancing the story much here, but um, we're going to stop the aliens from doing anything either. We kind of like timeline wise doing missions back to back to back pretty quickly here. It's been like a day since my last mission in game time. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. Squad concealment active. I do like these two because they are kind of nice and there's no turn limit I have to worry about. We can take our time, we can just wipe everybody out. With only nine enemies, the sectopods at this point aren't that difficult for me to deal with. Alright, so Dragonova, where would you like to go? We've got... Checkpoint, we've got a crappy old house. Can use some cover on the chimney. Her cover is a little different, so yeah, let's just run up here and see what we spot. I don't have to worry about enemies being close to her. If they're flanking me, it's totally fine. Okay. So, Spectre and a couple codexes, codices, whatever. So, Lebedev can't see them. I could get up on the roof, but it's awfully exposed. Let's just go here and just set him up for next time. Get you up on the roof. That should be okay, I think. I don't want to go too far just in case, though. You'd think rocket boots would be a big uh, issue for staying stealth, but apparently not. That's some nice cover there. Yeah, go ahead. Be brave, Andy. As much as I hate taking cover on cars, it is decent cover. I'm going to stay back a little bit, just in case. Keep my medic a little bit more protected. Okay, are they still there? Nope, didn't move. All right. So you've got a shot.
All right. Spectres do have lightning uh, reflexes, so the first Overwatch shot doesn't actually hit them. Still going to drop a kill zone because we do have to do codexes there. So we'll have to go lab with somebody. We could definitely do it with him. We could even overdrive and be able to shoot multiple times. I do have the Shredstorm Cannon. I'd like to save that for the Sectopod if I can. Uh, if they're in range, I could bombard them too. That might be fun. Uh, check how far Andy's out from being in grenade range. I do have the uh, blaster, but... Blaster launcher thing. Oh, did I not? I've got the plasma blaster. Ah, oh, I got the wrong weapon. I didn't swap it out. Well, that sucks. Well, I can hit you all. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's wake him up. The Spectre is the only one we've got to worry about. The other ones, uh, Mike, or not Mike, but Lebedev should be able to take out without too much trouble. I hope. Come on, give me a hit. Dodged, but dead. Hostile neutralized. So we've got the lightning hands will pop up. And that lightning hands, lightning reflexes. Yeah, I didn't get it. The other codex since it cloned isn't going to move. Got shots. You can only see one, really. Okay. Oh, I hear the sectopod stomping around. Sounds like over here somewhere. Have to be a little bit cautious about that. Um. Well. Could move on in, overdrive, and take a couple shots. If I overdrive when I'm starting up here, as soon as I move, well, I should just jump down immediately. Um, I have to be careful about roofs if I'm in overdrive, because I have an ability that lets me just bash through any terrain on the way. Uh, Andy's kind of flanked, almost. We can do something about that. I can take a free shot here. I've got Sting, so we can take a shot without being revealed. Probably wouldn't kill the Spectre, though. So I'm just going to move up a little bit. Now I can see them all. I can still do that sting attack. So if I combat protocol, can I hit the other hidden codex? No, I can't see it, so we can't hit it. You've got the blaster bomb. Whatever you say. Let's get you vision. I hope. Okay. I could take the shot. I do have a stock, so we'll do some damage even if I miss. But I don't think we're going to do three. It doesn't tell me what level. That was something I wish it would tell me. That says superior. Yeah, so it should just be a basic stock. So just one damage then. All right. I think I should have that info. Let's just combat protocol you down.
So I could overdrive and take some shots, but they're not great. We could also just punch this guy. It's not going to be enough to kill him, though. That's disappointing. Who else is left? Viking's not going to get a shot off. I could give uh, Titan an aid protocol, which would also result in him having an overwatch, so we could do that. Hit chances are not that good. Um, so I could wound the Spectre here. We wouldn't get a kill, most likely. Finish it off with a punch. Let's see if we can get lucky here. We're not going to get revealed because I'm using Sting. So I could overdrive, punch, still take a shot, I think. Because it's within that one movement space. So let's just take you out. He disintegrated. Efficiency is my speciality. And got a core and a data cache. All right. Got you nice and exposed. Observe how it's done. That was pretty good. All right. Now I don't think I need to use the aid protocol here. Um, I can move twice, we'll automatically drop an Overwatch with Viking. I'm on it. Okay, I definitely heard a Sectopod stomping around somewhere. It sounded like it was out this way. Okay, so it is the base is on an upraised area. So there's a way up there, there's a way up there. Alright, in that case... Let's just check the area and see if we spot anything. Six enemies left. Okay, I've got a turret. Let's have you just run up here. Hopefully I can get vision on the turret from here. Take it out next turn. Do I want to go up? Uh, a little concerned. Sectopod is probably in the base here or just beyond it. That would be my guess in a way, based on where the sound was coming from. There isn't a whole lot of terrain out this way anymore. Uh, it's tempting to pop up here. I do have an okay spot. Yeah, I'm going to look around. Normal scout, I probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, just gotta reload. Just move everybody in a bit. On the move. I'm all over it. Viking, where do we want you? Yeah, that's all right. Got it, moving. Scanning Overwatch. All right, Lebedev does have a view. 
Might want to wait and see if we spot anything else if I scout around, though. If I move, I might lose vision here. I do have a door right here. I'm at your service. Pop the door. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Okay, nothing inside. At least not in that room. Yeah, I lost vision. I'm just going to set up the shot. Target neutralized. Just want that dead before we start moving in here. This unit is relatively agile. Oh, There's got targets. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting all that. You probably just revealed Dragonova, too. That's not good. We're a bit close to the enemy here. Yeah, that gatekeeper's going to be a problem. I could try to rupture it, but my chances to hit are pretty crummy. I have to be pretty cautious with the grenades. Try to hack. No, I don't have vision of the mech. Okay, my spark's taking a shot here pretty much no matter what I do. Pretty sure Dragonova's exposed, which is not good. Andy. Oh, that's no good. Okay, I can't hit you without hitting my own person. Okay, someone else must be in the way. Who's in the way? Jane's in the way. All right, so if we move Jane, we can take that shot. Yeah, Jane, get some better cover. Go back to Andy. We can do a couple heavy things with Andy. So we'll use the uh, plasma blaster here first. If it's going to let me now. There we go. Scorched Earth. I don't know why that didn't shred any armor. I guess it maybe it just doesn't. Uh, grenade, that's just out of range. Just hit my own person and that's about it. Well, I don't have anything else to do. Um... Hmm. Andy is bonded to who? Is it Dragonova? Can't be Dragonova. I think Viking and Dragonova are bonded. Yeah, Viking and Dragonova are bonded. Andy... Who do you have a bond with? Oh, Lebedev. Okay. It's like I don't remember seeing that come up very often. Unfortunately, Lebedev took a shot, so he'll only be able to do pistol stuff or reloads with an action. He can't do a whole lot. 
So I might as well try for Rupture, even though it's a low chance. I've got nothing else I can really do except take just a regular shot. Rupture's 40%. A regular shot's 40%, so I might as well try for the Rupture. Not surprised. I've got nothing. I don't necessarily want to destroy it either right away because um, if it blows up, Lebedev's right, or not Lebedev, but I keep saying, screwing those up. Dragonova's right there. Um, so I do have the bomb. That, I can't tell for sure who all we're hitting. We're definitely hitting the gatekeeper. I think we're hitting the mech. Going to blow out that whole wall. I know where you are. All right, trooper's dead. So we just have the mech and the gatekeeper. I might want to give uh, Dragonova an action here. Apparently I'm still concealed somehow. I don't know how that works. And if I move, I'm revealed. Yeah, some for some reason I'm actually concealed. Okay. Well, if I want to take the damage from the exploding gatekeeper, I can do it. So you could shoot the mech to death. The extra shots will then hit the gatekeeper and do damage to me. But it shouldn't do that much. Then I can finish up with my spark if I need to. I was hoping I could just get out of here without being revealed. But maybe killing these two is the better option. I just can't remember how much damage it'll be if I take it when the uh, gatekeeper blows up next to me. Alright, I'm going to do it and hope it's not too much. Take out the mech for sure. And the other shots will hit the gatekeeper. Okay, how much was that? It took about four damage, something like that, I think. Yeah, just four damage. That's not too terrible. Go medical. Could be a whole lot worse. Considering we kind of got into this in a bad situation. So I can drop an overwatch there, that's pretty much it. So we've got the sectopod and a couple other things running around somewhere. Because there were just nine total. Uh, let's get a reload. Give me a minute. Let's go back in the shadows. Got a nice big opening here to get into where we need to plant. Don't want to set myself on fire. Just take a look around the corner. Nothing. Okay, kind of surprised. No big door there. Could be out here, but I swear earlier on it sounded like the stomping was coming from this side of the map. Just hold up there, drop an overwatch. Good to go. 
just get everybody set here for next turn. Jane, where do I want you? Hmm. We can just get set to head up next time if we need to. Hang out next to one of these little kind of vine ladders. There, I think. Overwatch engaged. Let me know if I'm going to reload this time. Let's rock. Come get some. On Overwatch. All right, Dragonova's had enough crap for today. So, what do you want to do? Looking around. I'm on the move. Still nothing. Kind of the end of the map there. Yeah, open the door just because. That sounds awfully close. He might be just right over here where I can't see him. Um, I could head up high a little bit here. There might be other turrets up there, though. So I don't really want to do that on my second action. Yeah, he sounds awfully close. Might have some view through the windows there. Yeah, he sounds grumpy and close. Not just close, but grumpy and close. Uh, let's check the front here. The time for hiding is over. There you are. Okay. There should be one more, I think. There are nine total. That'll get me to eight. So... <laughs> I suppose we could drop it and just leave. They might detect me if I get that close. Physical exertion. Let's find out. The door is shut. Yeah, plant the charges. Yeah, we can just bail now, so... Charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. I was worried about using the Shredstorm on here that it might destroy where I'm supposed to set the explosives. It might screw things up, but uh, it seems like we can just take off. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. They haven't been activated. They haven't seen us yet. Those appear to be some sort of incubation chambers. No doubt part of their system to keep Advent well supplied with reinforcements. When it comes to the aliens, it's always one big experiment. Baby soldiers. Baby soldiers. Baby. All the babies. Racks and racks of little baby soldiers. Yeah, they are. The giant little heads. All right. Yeah, we could totally bail. We don't even have to fight, really, the Sectopod or anything. Now you can just drop an Overwatch. We can set, just bring everybody back and just evac here. Be in pretty good shape. Seems doable. I'm just going to get ready for that eventuality in case we can do it. I mean, I could always try to do something.
Okay, you're going to overwatch just in case. Uh, let's drop an aid protocol on Titan. Again, that'll give my overwatch a little bit less chance to get hammered. Get an overwatch. Andy, yeah, this is an okay spot. We'll just stay here. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Call in the evac next turn. Yep, they're all three of them are there. We'll somehow have a shot through the door. Well, that's not good. All right, Lebedev, what can you do? Good damage. Armor still holding. Reinforcements coming. Looks like they called in some threats. Menace one five, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to kill them. I can just bail. So we could make this really short and sweet. Um, you could go pretty far, as long as everyone can reach the evac point. So Lebedev is kind of at the back. Oh, you're way out of position. Never mind. Um, yeah, we definitely can't get everybody out then. All right. Well, we're not getting out then. Definitely hit you, but we're probably not going to kill you. But I can sure make the odds better. So if I move over, I wonder if I can hit all three of them with a shred storm. Probably. Aim for about there. Alright, I guess we're just hit those two and take out this guy's cover. I can't hit the sectopod and the uh, gatekeeper up front. I think that's a gatekeeper. Not gatekeeper. Um, shield bearer. Yeah, do that. Both of them. So Tight let's do piece. that. I can't remember if the capacitor discharge ends my turn or not. I think it does. Can I hit both of them? Yes, I can, it looks like. Alright, Jane. We're going to aid protocol Titan. Giving him an overwatch shot. going to give you the opportunity to do a little capacitor discharge here. Unless I want to go back. Now I can't. Yeah, just hit these two. Take out the sectopods. I'm not sure if we'll take out the uh, shield bearer. Alright, nice. Got a nice flank shot here. 
50-50 chance to get revealed. I'm in kind of a bad spot if I do get revealed, so that may not be the best choice. Got an 87% there. Um, I could also just drop a kill zone here. Yeah, let's do that. Kill zone the reinforcements. Uh, let's get some cover from that direction. Take the shot. Hope we don't get revealed, but if we do, not too bad. Alright, not revealed. It says 50 before that, but I swear every time I take a shot after I use Sting, it's always a zero. So it seems like I can Sting once and then take one shot for free, and then after that it's 50-50. Um, I could run and get an Overwatch if I do that too. Yeah, let's do that. We've got some decent cover here. We can run on up. We've got a Guardian Overwatch then. So we've got the kill zone, we've got Guardian Overwatch, we've got my Spark with an Overwatch. Priest. We've got Advent here. Let's see how much damage we can do. The mech probably won't move, so it won't trigger any actions. Overwatch shots. Nice crit. I don't know who you just shot at. Okay, the mech's alive. The priest is in sustain, and the... Uh, Pure fire's alive. That's too bad. I've got crummy shots. So hoping we could do a bit more and then get out a little easier. I think we'll be okay though. We're not getting out this turn. Getting all of them, that would be fantastic, but I don't think it will. Well, I can get all of them. Take out my own cover, but that's all right. Okay, Priest is still sustained. I can't kill him when he's in that. But we took out the Overwatch. Just drop you now. Target eliminated. Okay, where do we want to do the evac? Uh, but I'm still kind of back, so we could do it down here. Just worried about more reinforcements coming in being a problem. Let's have you run on back. I can cover it. Just want to get everybody in a position fairly close together. Or we can maybe get out of here. Alright, you drop an overwatch there. Should 
Jen. I don't know. I could just stay here. I do have to move a little bit of up quite a bit, or we have to put the evac point kind of far back still. Just hoping this guy isn't going to do anything too bad. Um, if he just stands still and does an action, I might try to mind control someone, but I'm assuming he's going to move first, which means we can just gun him down. So I'm going to set up to just gun him down if he moves. He's out in the open. He doesn't have cover. I think he's going to try to get to cover no matter what first. And I'm just going to move back a bit. Got the overwatches to cover. I think we should be all right. Take a step. Yep, bad idea. They're as weak as ever. Bring them in reinforcements. One five, be advised. We've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. All right, let me see how far up Lebedev can move here. All right, we can get it pretty far. Um, so we could drop it about there. I'm pretty sure everybody can get out here. As long as I don't misclick anything. A bit of go! Yeah, we're all set. Everybody can get out. Stomp, stomp, stomp. It would have been kind of funny to leave the sectopod and everything behind, but uh, a little bit out of position to get everybody out right away. So enthused and happy about that. Jane! I'm going! Just in time. So Dragonova ended up taking a little bit of a knock, but uh, hopefully not too bad. She won't be out too long, I hope. My life is in your hands. She was getting tired anyway. So she needed a vacation, one way or the other. Viking! Yeah, overall not bad. That gatekeeper kind of screwed us up by parking right next to Dragon Oliva. Otherwise, we would have been good. One wounded, 14 enemies killed. Lebedev could still get a promotion, but I think it's unlikely. He'd get at least a couple kills there. Revealed today's maneuver by local peacekeepers was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Doubles damage, Lebedev. Most attacks, Lebedev. That seems odd. I guess we did drop a kill zone. Um, we for the Dragonova. A lot of people wounded and probably most of them tired after this. Another heroic effort in the field. Yeah, three people tired. Dragonova just one day. That's pretty good for just taking that kind of a shot. I could improve the bonds there, but yeah, no promotion for Lebedev. One core, one data cache. The alien facility now stands in ruin, Commander. Excellent work. 
Your efforts will no doubt slow the aliens' progress towards the Avatar project. Pretty much totally stopped their progress. All right. Let's see. How long? Jane just needs a day off. Viking, 10 days. Lebedev, 10 days also. Maybe he and uh, Dimitri there are going to go on a little bit of a bender. Ellen still needs a week. Yeah, it's the tired we have to work around when we get into the final missions. I do have a pretty good A team and B team. I've got enough colonels. Pretty much all my A and B team are now colonel level. Um, we've even got Hank here all leveled up. We picked up Meltdown here. I've never even used. We got him from an action. Um, so mission that we finished. We picked up Claire from something we investigated on the world map. We haven't used her at all. So we've got a pretty good solid group of colonels. And even my majors, we've got a few pretty decent ones here. Redline's pretty decent. I've got these guys also pretty high level. So yeah, we're in a pretty good shape, I think, getting into the end zone. The end game, I meant... I still think it's creepy there's an avatar head over there, which is just kind of disturbing, but all right. Okay, so basically no story progress made, but we got another uh, black site down. Although it's, uh, I guess, avatar facility. It, they're secret. I call them black sites. Fine. The first one's a black site. I think technically only the first one is the black site. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully I will see you all again next time as we make some more progress towards getting to the end. Like I said, I'm going to try to get over into the next month. We'll get that other order in place, and then we'll try to get those missions done ASAP. We still have to burn four days anyway for the autopsy to finish, so we're kind of good on that. And then just a few more days to get to the month. Hopefully nothing else will come up after that, and we'll get into the end game next time. All right, I know this is kind of a two-part thing at the end, so at least the first part of it where we have to take out the transmitter, something like that, with the smaller squads, at least if we can get to that next turn, I'll be, next time I'll be pretty happy. But that'll do it for today. Thanks again. Hopefully I will see you next time. Have a good one.